like to call the meeting to order. Roll call. Councilman Simaluka. Councilman Simaluka is unable to be here this evening. Councilman Garrick. Here. Councilman Accomando. Here. Councilwoman Dorminio. Here. Council President Major. Here. Please rise for the salute to the flag and remain standing for a moment of silence in memory of the lives lost on December 7, 1941, attack on Pearl Harbor, and in memory of Saddlebrook Fire Department Captain and Assistant Chaplain Basil Pazuna. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Thank you. <laughs> Adequate notice of this meeting has been sent to all council members and to all legal newspapers in accordance with, with the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 234, Public Law 1975. The public is hereby advised that any statements made during a meeting of the Township Council of the Township of Saddlebrook may not be privileged or protected, and that persons or entities who take issue with such comments or are offended by saying may and have in the past so at legal redress through the courts. Any member of the public who addresses the Council speaks for themselves and not for the Council. No motion to open a meeting? Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting is now open to the public. Anyone wishing to be heard, please come up and say your name and address. All right. Good evening. Thomas Van Winkle, 128 Lincoln Avenue, Saddlebrook. Um, through the chair, Pete. Welcome back. All right. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to be back. Yeah. And it looks a lot more normal up there. So <laughs> good to see you back. Hope we see you back up there for a long time. Um, I want to talk about the mayor's youth group first. Um, we met on Zoom last Tuesday, the 22nd before Thanksgiving. Um, we talked about many different things coming up. Um, we helped out with the holiday party this past Friday. I want to thank everyone who was involved with that. It was our first party inside the new complex. It was in the gym after our tree lighting. Um, we, I took all the Santa photos. The portraits of all the families are on the uh, Sauerbrook Facebook page. So if you haven't taken a look at that, um, I hope you do. Um, so I do want to thank everybody who helped out with that. I also want to thank our youth group president, Tyler, for helping to take the photos with me because when I'm doing the Santa portraits, I need someone else to help me take the photos of the rest of the event. So I do want to thank him for all his help on that. Also, we're going to be judging for the holiday decorating contest, which just started today. Um, we started allowing entries today and the deadline to sign up for the decorating contest is December the 21st. Um, <clears throat> so we will be going out to judge and we talked about maybe going back on the bus and going to the houses on, on or around the 21st, but we're working that out as, at this time. Um, aside from the mayor's youth group, I do, I know last month I came up here and discussed the referendum. I do want to just make everybody aware again that the voting is going to be opening, it's going to be done, held, the election will be held for the school referendum on Tuesday, December the 13th. The polls are going to be open from 1 to 8 p.m. Um, all the students are going to have a half day, and then everyone will go to their normal polling location. So, for example, myself, I would go vote at the high school. So whatever your normal polling location is, please go out and vote one way or the other. Also, on the um, school website, the referendum website, which is sp sbpsnj.org slash referendum, it has videos on there now of the buildings. Also, I took a bunch of photos of the buildings, Washington, Smith, and the high school. So I hope everybody takes a look at that as well. Um, also, there are lawn signs that are now going to be going out. So if you need more information on that, let me know. I can reach out and get lawn signs. That's all. So remember, just, just vote whatever way you, you feel. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you for keeping us informed and also for the awesome pictures and, and, and to the, the entire uh, Mayor's Youth Group for always doing a great job. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Seeing none, nobody? Motion to close? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Mayor? Okay. Uh, 
I'm just going to start off. I know I said last month that I'm, I'm not going to give a whole COVID report, which I'm not, but I just want to let everybody know, the public be informed that it is still spreading, and we've had a recent uptick here in Saddlebrook. Uh, so please exercise caution. Um, you know, the things we said right at the very beginning, you know, stay away from people who are sick. Um, if you have symptoms, get tested. Avoid crowds. Uh, wash or sanitize your hands frequently. Avoid touching your face. Get vaccinated and boosted if you haven't done so already. And wear a mask if you're a high-risk person uh, and you're unable to stay at least six feet away from people uh, when you're outside your house. Uh, the budget, I just uh, want everybody to know that I'm working with the business administrator and we will be meeting with department heads sometime in the near future to go over their annual budget request for 2023. 2023 already so uh, we have a bond ordinance on the agenda tonight uh, for approval and uh, it, it's a it's requesting nine hundred eighty five thousand dollars to make various public improvements uh, one being the replacement of the floor at engine company number two firehouse various other improvements to municipal buildings and property also parks and recreation facilities and uh, the acquisition of some new additional replacement equipment and machinery for our DPW to include a new bucket loader and a sewer jet vacuum machine. Uh, we do have uh, a resolution on tonight in support of Bergen County Home Investment Partnership Grant application for the Saddlebrook for the Willows at Saddlebrook, which is an affordable housing project, which will help uh, partially fulfill our Mount Laurel obligation. Uh, the anchor program, it's, um, the anchor program is a property tax relief program and uh, for those who apply and are eligible, uh, they can get $1,500 for homeowners earning 150,000 or less, $1,000 for homeowners earning 150 to 250,000 and four hundred and fifty dollars for renters earning one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or less. Um, this uh, the deadline has been uh, extended, and it is now January thirty first, twenty twenty three. Um, as Tom has said, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat it. Uh, the school referendum is Tuesday, December thirteenth. The board of education is asking residents whether it can raise taxes to sell bonds to finance additional space and make critical upgrades across the district. As Thomas said, the polls are open 1 to 8 p.m. The mail-in ballots went out this week, so check your mailbox if you requested a mail-in ballot. And for more information, you can go to the district website, which is sbpsnj.org. That's sbpsnj.org. Uh, we had our holiday tree lighting and party. Uh, on Friday, November 25th at the new municipal complex. Thomas also pointed that out. So, um, after the tree lighting, we moved into the new recreation center and hot chocolate and pretzels were served. Uh, there was holiday music, face painters, photos with Santa's, oh, with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Olaf and the Grinch were also present um, for the kids. So I wanna thank the Projects and Activities Committee, Karen Darminio, uh, Councilwoman Karen Darminio, Shannon Accomando, uh, Todd works very hard along with his wife for that, and Christine Januario. I also want to thank Mr. Ortega and the Saddlebrook High School Middle School Band for playing songs. Uh, also, uh, Pastor Wolf, Christopher Wolf of the First Reformed Church for doing opening and closing prayers. Our DPW and police department who were assigned and assisted there, members of our volunteer ambulance corps and volunteer fire department. Uh, the fire department always gives Santa and Mrs. Claus a ride into the complex. Um, special thanks to Joe Shilp and Joan Ramsey as Santa and Mrs. Claus. Also, Thomas Van Winkle and Tyler Posey for taking photos. Rafael Gonzalez of Ben Lacosa for videotaping. Uh, and uh, all the, the video uh, is, is on our town TV, uh, cable TV, and uh, the stations and YouTube photos are on the town website and uh, the Facebook page. Upcoming events and information, uh, 
holiday home decorating contest. This year, the registration began today and ends December 20th. Residents that want to register uh, can email their name, address, and contact information to Christine Januario, uh, my secretary. Um, her uh, email is cgenuario at saddlebrooknj.gov. Um, th the information will be also be posted on our website and social media page. The Mayor's Youth Group will have a holiday party on December 21st and then take a bus ride to judge the homes that are registered. And results will be posted on uh, the Facebook page and town website uh, either, the, either uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and the winners will, will all receive gifts. Uh, top three. Tree decorating at Van Sawn Park for Winter Wonderland. Tickets can be purchased for the Winter Wonderland Family Fun event at Bergen County Winter Wonderland .com. And information will also be posted on our town uh, Facebook page and website. Um, we decorate this year, every year we decorate a tree there. And that tree, uh, it's, a, it's an actual live tree with, a, with a, a, tr a ball that you can plant. And we've planted uh, several of them, and two of them have survived, two of them haven't. So I'm hoping this year we could, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get another one that survives. Um, our senior art party and senior club uh, Christmas party is December 12th, 1230 to 430 at the Venetian. Um, anybody interested in going can contact Director Joe, uh, Senior Director Joe Lisi for tickets, and his number is 201-845-4594. Uh, the, the Saddlebrook Santa Ride and the Saddlebrook Fire Department uh, Santa Ride is December the 17th, Saturday, December 17th. And it usually starts early afternoon and goes into the wee hours of the night. Um, Toys for Tots, uh, the, there's drop boxes, people that want to donate toys. Uh, they can do so at the police department and the senior center, I believe. Is it senior center? I think it's senior center. It's not here. I know we don't have one we here. We don't have one here. Yeah, so it, it, I know it's definitely the police department. I, I believe it's the senior center is the other one. Um, Hanukkah begins on December 18th and ends the evening of December 26th. Uh, town Hall will be closed in observance of Christmas, Friday, December 23rd, and Monday, December 26th. New Year's on, will be uh, closed on Monday, January the 2nd. New Year's is a, is, a, is a Sunday this year. On the Mondays we're closed, DPW will be picking up yard waste in Section 1, which is the north end of town, on Friday that same week. Um, finally, I just want to talk about uh, a little bit about ba Basil Pizzuto. Uh, we really lost a, a great man in, in Basil, and uh, I, I can't believe, I knew he was a popular guy, but I didn't realize just how popular he was. And uh, you know, I can't say enough, uh, you know, to pay tribute to him, a special person that really gave so much of himself to the community and had a positive impact on so many lives. As a member of the Saddlebrook Volunteer Fire Department, uh, hook and ladder company. He was uh, a captain there and also an assistant chaplain. He was the music director at St. Philip's the Apostle Church. He was also a teacher and a vice principal for the Ridgewood School District. He was a successful and accomplished person who touched uh, the lives of everyone he met. And our condolences go to Basil's wife and his sons, his extended family, the Saddlebrook Volunteer Fire Department, the St. Philip's community, and the students and staff at the school where he worked for many years. Um, God bless him and may he rest in peace. Merry Christmas and happy Hanukkah. Thank you, Mayor. Any comments? Um, I too would like to extend condolences to uh, Basil's uh, family and friends. He was a great guy. He was a funny guy. Uh, he was well loved by so, so many people. Um, actually, someone my wife works with his, uh, his daughter was a student of, of Basil's, and she was uh, distraught over the, the news that Basil had passed away. So it just goes to show you not just people in Saddlebrook, but people all over New, uh, new Basil, and he will, he will be missed. Um, and I do get a lot of credit for doing some of the projects. I, I do help out, but I don't do near as much as Karen, uh, Christine, or, or my wife, Shannon. Um, so... Thank you to you, you three.
course, my wife. I don't want to get in trouble for this one. Um, but it was a pleasure. Uh, as you know, Karen is, uh, is done. Not done. Done. As of this, as of, as of this, this, this month is, is her last meeting. So it was a pleasure working with you, running with you twice. Um, you will be missed. You will be missed. It was, it was definitely uh, a good ride. Yes, it was definitely fun. So I Thank wish you, you the best in your retirement. Thank you. And uh, what else do I want to say? Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year. Thank you. Councilman. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I too would like to. Uh, uh, my sincere condolences to, to the Mizzuro family. Um, it's a huge loss, tremendous person, um, felt throughout the entire community, for sure, uh, as well as in Ridgewood and him being a vice principal and educator there. Um, my condolences. Uh, the Flood Committee will be having a meeting on Wednesday, December 28th at 6.30 at the Senior Center. Uh, as always, any residents interested in participating are welcome. Uh, I, too, would like to wish all of our volunteers, employees, and residents a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a healthy and Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. That's what? Um, you know, everybody said about Basil, and I actually got to know him um, with the hook and ladder addition. And, I mean, you don't really know all the volunteers until you really start working with them. And I agree, he was a wonderful person and he will be missed. And again, to the fire department, to his family, um, sincere condolences. Um, on a lighter note, I have two meetings to go yet. Yes. So I'm not <laughs> done quite yet. Um, but yes, Todd, we've had a good run, and the mayor, and all of you. It has been really a wonderful journey for me. Uh, as far as projects and activities, you do a lot. Christine does a lot. Shannon does a lot. In fact, this year, uh, we used to have this castle that was built 20 years ago. And my favorite thing. And the DPW used to go crazy every year because they had to put all these pieces together. And then they had to paint it between. This year, they got a backdrop, which was incredible. Two minutes, and it's up. And the pictures were beautiful. So you guys are taking the ball and doing a great job. And I know that going forward, it's going to be great. So. And, and it really turned out really nicely. Um, the building, I just want to talk briefly about the building. We're almost at the CO. We have uh, two inspections to go. The epoxy floors are being painted in the bay of the fire department and the ambulance corps. Uh, work is being finished. We are working in the front of the building with the punch list. Uh, the punch list really is mostly painting a uh, few ceiling tiles, a little glips, little glitzes here and there. Overall, nothing terrible. Uh, I can say that I truly foresee that we should have the CO within the next two weeks, um, and then everyone will start to plan the moving in process. So I just wanted to bring you up to date on that. Um, and last but not least, Merry Chris. Oh, Thomas, let me talk about you, Thomas, for a minute. <laughs> because you are definitely terrific. You were there early before the holiday celebration to set up his equipment. He actually, I was in a photo shoot. I don't want to brag, but I was. Um, so he had the lighting and everything. You do a wonderful job. And I still say, I hope I'm alive because you're going to be the mayor <laughs> one day. Um, with that being said, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holiday. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilwoman. I, too, would, would like to extend my heartfelt sympathies to the Pesuto family. Um, Basil was one of my oldest son's uh, first friends when we moved here in South, to Saddlebrook. Uh, my son came from, we came from a different town, and uh, coming into second grade, Basil kind of made him feel, made him feel at home, and they uh, continued that friendship right through grammar school. 
Uh, he certainly was such a presence in our town. I know a lot of people are hurting, and um, just hope he rest in peace. I'm gonna miss you, Baze. And uh, on a more happy note, we welcome back this guy. Uh, Thank you. Yes, we missed you. Thank welcome you. back. I miss you guys too. Yep. May God keep you safe and healthy Thank too. You. Thank you. And okay, I'm not gonna say goodbye to you yet. No, no, <laughs> um, no, nope, no, not at all. But and of course, thank you, community projects. The girls do an amazing job. It was beautiful, beautiful. And um, yeah, of course, Thomas, always there to help. Thank you. Let's move on. Yes. If I may. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Madam uh, President. Sure. Uh, I just wanted to. Uh, Extend my sympathy, of course, to Basil's family. I've known him since he was in high school in the family. And uh, it's going to be hard to think that he won't be around um, for the fire department, for his uh, students, and, um, of course, St. Phillips. I also would like to thank, uh, on the, the day I went to the hospital, our police department, our ambulance corps, who I gave a hard time to because I didn't want to go to the hospital. and. Uh, my friends who did show up, I guess they heard the call, um, and especially the mayor and council for your calls when I was in the hospital and your um, encouragement and the cards I received and the phone calls. It was really great to hear from people and appreciate their uh, concern. And again, I'm glad to be back. Especially want to thank Flo Mazur because by a quirk, she texted me that day. I couldn't find my cell phone. Something told her, Check with the mayor, call the mayor. The mayor and Flo came to my house. Uh, saw that I guess I wasn't in the greatest shape and uh, contacted the police and the, and the uh, ambulance corps. They both gave me orders about going to the hospital and I told them I'm not obeying those orders. But eventually I did go. And, and thank you for that. Thank you for your concern. Yeah. But uh, when the mayor says, I'm giving you an order. Will you go? And I said no. <laughs> and folks, and I I'm said, council you, president. I, I <laughs> said he never said no to me in 20 years. And he ain't going to say no to me now. <laughs> but I did eventually go, and thank God I did. It was, it, yep. So thank you both. You're welcome. Oh, geez. No problem. Please. So basically, through the chair, they saved your life. I, and we're glad they did. Yeah. Because you don't listen well. <laughs> no, I don't take orders. <laughs> okay. A lot of people were saying, and I give the ambulance corps credit, they were patient because they, that's, I'm sure they've come across before. Patients don't want to go to the hospital right away. And I was one of them saying, no, I'm not going. And Tom Dickman and then Floyd went to the hospital with the ambulance. So I, thank you very much. Okay. One other thing through the chair. Are you going to still be as cheap as you always are, or did that change you in any way? Just curious. Believe it or not, that didn't change at all. Oh, it didn't change. All right. I thought maybe, you know. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So move on to the ordinance. First reading of Ordinance 1727-22. It's a bond ordinance to authorize the making of various public improvements and the acquisition of new additional or replacement equipment and machinery in by and for the Township of Saddlebrook and the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $985,000 to pay the cost thereof, to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation, and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds be adopted on first reading. I have a motion? Motion. Second. Roll call. Councilman Garrick? Yes. Councilman Accomando? Yes. Councilwoman Dorminio? Yes. Council President Mazur? Yes. Be resolved by the Township Council that the bond ordinance to authorize the making of various public improvements and the acquisition of new additional or replacement equipment and machinery in by and for the Township of Saddlebrook in the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $985,000 to pay the course thereof and make a down payment, to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation, and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds, heretofore passed on first reading, be further considered 
for a final passage at a meeting to be held on the 27th day of December 2022 at 7 o'clock p.m. or soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the Municipal Building, 93 Market Street, and at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance according to law with the notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of a time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Motion. Motion. Second. Second. Roll call. Councilman Garrick? Yes. Councilman Accomando? Yes. Councilwoman Dorminio? Yes. Council President Mays? Yes. All items listed with an asterisk are considered routine and non-controversial by the Township Council and will be approved by one motion. There will be no separate discussion on these items unless a council member or members so request it, in which case the item or items will be removed from the consent agenda and considered in its normal sequence on the agenda. The one motion signifies adoption of all resolutions, receive and file letters, correspondence reports and approval of minutes and applications. The minutes of the November 10, 2022 regular public meeting is now part of the consent agenda and will be voted on separately. We have a motion? Motion. Second. Second roll call. Councilman Garrick? Yes. Councilman Accomando? Yes. Councilwoman Dorminio? Yes. Council President Mazur? Yes. We have the minutes of the November 10, 2022 regular public meeting. We have a motion? Motion. Second. Second. Roll call. Councilman Garrick? Abstain. Councilman Alcomando? Yes. Councilwoman Dorminio? Abstain. Council President Major? Yes. Okay. No old business? Anybody? Any business? Any business? Chair. Um, I just want to mention that um, there's been an awful lot of, uh, well, it's not awful, but I don't want to make it sound like it's awful, but there's been a lot of, uh, of paving going on and utility work in town over the last couple of months, and uh, there's been a lot of traffic detours and sometimes closures, and uh, I just want to thank the motoring public and the residents. Uh, you know, we always try police department, the contractor, the town engineer. We try to coordinate it so that it's the least problem and the, and the traffic is, uh, is uh, flows and it, it, we're, not, we're not causing all kinds of tie-ups. Um, but sometimes, you know, so sometimes uh, there's, there's problems and work takes longer or, and, you know, during rush hour we usually try to make sure that there's not, uh, you know, the work starts after rush hour and, or before rush hour, whatever it might take. But um, there's been a lot of complaints and you know, why isn't the work done at night and, or on the weekend when there's, when there's less traffic. The, the problem with that is, um, and for the, I want the, especially the residents to know that when you do that at night and weekends, it, it almost doubles the cost. I mean, you know, Bob, our town engineer will tell you that uh, so it's going to cost us a lot more money. We get fewer roads done if it's the town project. So, um, but I, I thank I thank everyone for their patience, and uh, we're we're almost through. We're almost through with uh, we we. I'm happy to say that we we've got a lot of roads paved. Uh, we that we did ourselves, and we're also getting quite a few through public service, electric, and gas, uh, because they've done gas lines, and and they have to pave the road. Uh, and you know the, when they when they rip it up, if uh, especially if, if it's already been done over within the last few years, they're obligated to do the whole road. So we are getting a lot done, and uh, and the utility work is good too. But we've had we have had a tremendous amount, and uh, and, and we've gotten a lot of complaints. So so please just bear with us a little bit longer, and uh, it benefits the whole town. Thank you. To the chair, I, I want to just bring, because I know I'm going to get somebody to call tomorrow. Um, on the front of the new building, half of the seal blew down in the wind. That's a temporary seal that's on there. Um, it blew off. We do have it. 
so they are going to put it back up. It is not the permanent seal, but for those of you that go by and see half a seal, hopefully they'll put it back tomorrow. But I just wanted to let everybody know that we're aware of it and um, we're going to fix it and we're still waiting on the permanent one. So just so they know. Thank you. Thank you. Any other business before I open? Okay, motion to open the meeting to the public. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> the meeting is now open to the public. Anyone wishing to be heard on agenda items, please come up. S seeing no one. Motion. Motion closed. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Any closing comments? Anybody? Anybody else? No. That's it? You yeah. sure? I, can't uh, I know, right? The year oh, blew by. God, it really did. It really did. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Ha happy holidays, everyone. Stay safe. Good night. Motion close. Motion close. Second. Uh, adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor. Good night. Have a good evening.